Friends hunting for World War II artifacts make a truly deadly discovery. Seventy years later, people still suffer from the consequences of World War II and still search for closure and understanding among the artifacts. Sixty million deaths, many missing bodies, and a lot of unanswered questions. Recently, a duo went exploring in a Russian non-urban area where a few major battles had taken place. As soon as they started digging, the duo started finding shocking items such as an intact handgun. It didn't take them long to stumble across explosive devices like this grenade. Beware, if you ever find a grenade, don't touch it. Instead, report your findings to the authorities. In the beginning, it was hard for the two friends to tell to which of the opposing parts the weapon belonged, until they found this German buckle, which had written on it, Mine air is true, my honor is loyalty. The grenade was not the only dangerous weapon they found during their exploration of the site. They also discovered this landmine in almost perfect condition. They had no idea if it was still active, so they decided to snap photos of it and step back. Another mine was found with a trigger in place, deep underground. Though these men were not professionals and took a great risk, it was good that they found this mine so that no one would accidentally set it off. The two men were impressed by the wealth of World War II memorabilia they stumbled across in a single location. Many of the guns were still in perfect working condition. The ones that were not, such as this gun, were corroded with rust. Still, they were fascinating relics. One of the reasons it's not advised for amateurs to go digging at old battle sites is because these locations also double as graves for soldiers who fought and died during the war. The two men accidentally unearthed one such soldier's remains. He was still wearing his boots. The two men continued to find more weapons, explosives, and equipment designed to enhance the weapon's performance in the field. They were unable to tell whether the grenades were still active or not either. In addition to all the grenades and live charges they unearthed, they also found boxes upon boxes of machine gun and rifle ammunition that seemed to be completely untouched. Once the unwrapping of the box is done, the munitions found inside looked brand new. The two men knew that the items they found, including this impressive array of automatic and semi-automatic weapons, would have incredible monetary worth due to their historical important value. Some of the items they found were so scary looking that even this brave duo didn't risk actually touching them. When they unearthed this pile of unused grenades that seemed to have leaked a toxic substance, they knew it was best to step away. The two men couldn't believe it when they found this machine gun. Weapons like this one were not made anymore, and while this one would be impossible to get into working order, it was still an amazing and important discovery. It wasn't just guns and grenades that the two men found either. Though those were plenteous, they also discovered plenty of old helmets, meal kits, and even soda from that era that remained unopened. Some of the items reflected the terror of World War II. These images of a gas mask and a pouch used to holster a gun, along with a few rusted silencers, served as potent reminders of all the dangers that come with going to war. This gun was one of a few identified by World War II buffs who investigated the men's photos when they first surfaced. This one is a scoped Mauser, and while the gun itself was useless, it would be possible to restore the scope. There were more reminders of the human beings who wielded all of these weapons. Hidden beneath an old chamber pot that the two men found in the field was a soldier's wedding band. While everything around it had tarnished, the ring itself still shone brightly. This unearthed gun was another one of the weapons found in the area. This gun was a Luger, a popular handgun that was carried back then by most German officers. There's a lot of controversy surrounding expeditions like the one these two men shared. 
On the one hand, it gave families answers to haunting questions about their loved ones. Naturally, others believed that the bodies should have been left undisturbed. This expedition may have given families answers to unanswered questions about their loved ones, but some people think that the bodies should have been left in peace. All things considered, the adventure of these two friends has contributed in the understanding and remembering of an important era in human history, wishing peace to all the victims, their families, and the world.